Hey, this is Rene. Welcome to this um, video, and this is oh, the last part of the programming tutorial where we where we uh, write a um, RSI expert advisor. We did all of this stuff here, and the expert advisor is doing pretty fine so far. It is opening trades and it is closing trades at the SL or take profit. But what we want to do now is um, we want to provide functionality for this expert advisor so it can close. Um, uh, a sell trade whenever there's a buy signal and it can close a buy trade whenever there's a sell signal. And this is <laughs> super easy. You will you will laugh, but um, I will show you how, how it's done. So uh, we go to this part in the um, in the program and you can you can see that there is a new sell signal because the RSI is above 70 and we will just check if the position ticket is greater than zero. If that's true, then we will just um, uh, yeah, we will um, wait. Wait a sec. We will just uh, position select by ticket. We will select the ticket um, or the position. Um, Um, by providing the position ticket. If we did this, then we just have to receive the position type like this. Um, and we have to check if position type is equal to position type uh, by. And if that is the case, then we just close the position, position close, and we provide the position ticket, and that's it. So it's easy as that, then we um, reset the position ticket. So this is like the way to go, and it's super easy, it's nothing really special about it. We just close a position at the counter signal. Um, of course, here we, we check if this um, is a cell type, and um, uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, the rest is the same. And uh, if we do it like this, this is working. We can test the program um, in the strategy tester. Um, for this test, I will choose another calculation method. We don't need the every tick based method because we only calculate on open prices anyway. So we use this method and we see that there are trades and there are closed and open and everything's working fine and this is a perfect ex uh, expert advisor. Don't know if the performance is good but um, it is working. You you programmed it at your own. You, I mean you did this by writing code and that's a that's a pretty cool achievement and you can be you can be proud. And um, even though some of these things might confuse you, you don't have to know everything about it. So um, just, yeah, I mean, take your time and um, try to write other simple expert advisor and don't, don't try to rush it. You will learn more the more you program and um, it's just the way you go. Everyone's a beginner in the beginning. So, um, yeah, I, I will do some last modifications because as you maybe realize, this stuff is also done like here. So we can, we can... Um, no, we, we can't put it up there. So, um, yeah, I think we will have to do it like this. Okay, I, I will tell you, I will go through the whole program one last time and I will tell you something, uh, some, some more background infos that you have to know because this is not a, like, safe program. Um, whenever your computer crashes or your MT4 is stuck or something you will lose like the progress this expert advisor made um, so it's not it's not really safe and you do not or we we, did, we didn't check like the return um, codes of these this operations here because uh, whenever you try to close a position the um, the broker could say um, no I don't close this position because hey there's a record or because I don't know, the trading time is over or forever, whatever crazy reason the broker might have to not close your position, you would have a problem with this code because um, the position is not closed in this case and you still reset the position type, oh wait, this is wrong, position ticket variable. So um, 
Um, so so then, then you have a problem. And, and it, it would be proper programming if you just like check the return code of this operation and uh, check if the position is closed and everything. And um, only if you, dip, if, if you do this, it's safe to reset the um, position ticket um, variable. So yeah, that being said, um, we can just go through the program again. So in, at the very top and the first line, we just include the trade MQH file, um, which contains a class that is capable of opening, modifying and closing trades. So you can do pretty much everything when that comes to trades and orders and everything with this um, class. And you can declare a object variable of this class data type by using ctrade and then you can provide a name like trade or again you can I don't know call it phone or a pit Peter whatever you want to want to call it it's it's up to you how you name your variables but always keep in mind it should make sense then we um, declare a RSI handle as a global variable because we need it in different um, uh, uh, functions and we don't want it to be resetted after every function uh, after a function call and we have a position ticket ticket what we want to keep for the whole uh, runtime of this program then in the on init function that is called uh, whenever the program is initialized we um, simply um, receive the rsi handle and update this variable by using the the i rsi function you can read everything about it in the documentation which you can see by pressing f1 then we have the on init function that we simply do not use, so it's completely blank and it's not it's not used. So we can just um, jump to the on tick function. The on tick function is um, it, it, it starts by calculating the um, value for the RSI at the last bar. Then we check if this if this value is above seventy. If it's the case, we check if there's any uh, open buy position. If it's true, we close it. If it's not true, or if it is true and it's closed, <laughs> we check if the position ticket is um, equal or below zero. And if this is true, we open a cell position by using the uh, trade object variable and the cell function that is inside of this uh, C trade class. And then we update the position ticket uh, variable with the result order or result position in this case of this operation. Um, this is absolutely necessary because if we don't do this, then we will open a new position with every single tick. And that's not really what we want to do. So we do the exact same thing just for buy positions. And um, whenever there is a buy signal, which is um, when the RSI is below 30. And yeah, if we do have a position, then we select this position by using the position select by ticket function. Then we uh, receive some of the information about this uh, position. We check if it's a buy or a sell position. And then we simply check if the position has a SL already. If it doesn't, then we calculate and provide an SL and take profit to this position. That's it. If we are not able to select a position, which means that this position is closed, then we reset the position ticket variable and we comment out the RSI value just for personal information and the position ticket. And that's it. So you see, programming an expert advisor in the MT5 might seem a little bit complicated in the beginning, but as soon as you get into it, it's pretty easy. And um, uh, you will need some time, as I mentioned before, to learn all this stuff, but it is absolutely worth it. And if you are able to program, you can either work as a high paid um, programmer for others or you can write your own programs and sell it or let it um, uh, or let, let it make generate profits for you uh, for you for your own accounts or for your social trading accounts so it's um, yeah in, in, in any way it's a great opportunity for you and it's a great hobby so um, let me know if you like the series it's a it's a longer series I think we are at eight videos already and give it a big thumbs up as always, if you if you liked it, and let me know let me know what you think about it. Um, do, did you have problems writing this expert advisor? Um, do you have open questions? Uh, let me know in the comment section below. 
And um, yeah, if not, we will see each other next time uh, when I do another video. So have a nice time. Until then, bye bye.